Can we just declare Saturday as one of the best days for anime of spring 2020? It's honestly just such a blessing to have such a series like Kaguya-sama Love is War coming out for spring of anime 2020. It never ceases to leave a smile on my face, ceases to amaze me. It's honestly just such a wonderful anime, and I just, I continuously fall in love with this series even more every single week I watch a new episode. And... I've said this so many times, but I really do just appreciate the atmosphere this series gives. Like, honestly, with just how times are like they are, you really cannot appreciate it enough. You cannot appreciate series like Kaguya-sama enough just because of how the world is. Stuff like this is stuff we need, and honestly, it puts me in such a good mood, and I know I say it almost every single week, but it really is the case. It puts me in such a wonderful mood watching this series. So anyways, let's get right into it. This episode had a surprising amount of fills or darker themes to it and I didn't really expect that. Now this isn't the first time that Kaguya-sama Love is War has had darker slash depressing themes. If you go back to the first season of Kaguya-sama Love is War we know that there was a few episodes that were actually focused on sadder moments with Kaguya, Shinomiya and you know also focusing on you know uh, Fujiwara. There, there was some sad moments here and there. So we know that the series can get like that but but when it does happen, it's not something you really expect because normally when it comes to Kaguya-sama Love is War, we have like romance, we have comedy, we have just, you know, interesting little things here that just the characters goofing off having fun. But then you get a very serious moment here and there that just throws a curveball at you and you don't really expect it. It just, it comes left field and it really just hits you because these characters are normally happy, joyful, etc. are now in a very darker atmosphere and it makes you like, whoa, this is sad etc and it makes you feel bad for them have empathy and that's kind of the emotions that I got while watching the second half now it did obviously get uplifting and happy towards the end of the episode after all those darker moments but it doesn't change the fact of what the message was what it was trying to convey to the audience and I'm going to get into that in just a moment but I want to talk about the first half of the episode before I get into the darker half which was a real major plot point or progression for the story for the upcoming episode so anyways the first half of the episode focuses on Shinomi actually wanting to have a stargazing with the, like the student council. He wants to stargaze, he wants to moon gaze, he wants to just share it with the student council because there's only a little bit amount of time left that he's going to be able to cherish and spend time with them as a student council. So he just wants to take this time to really just stargaze and have a really happy and good moment. So we get to see a side of Shinomiya that we don't normally get to see and it was a really shocking moment because typically when it comes to the formula of Kaguya-sama Love is War, they're trying to, you know, outwit each other to get each other to confess, etc. This is something that's the typical formula of the story. However, this episode was not like that. You have it to where... How uh, Shinomiya was actually reacting or how he was acting was very truthful and just his love for the stars, his love for the moon and the stories and the messages, etc. were just so large that he kind of threw away his embarrassment and how he felt when it came to just expressing his passion towards Kaguya. And it really took Kaguya for a loop because she did not expect to see just how, I guess out in the open that, you know, Shinomiya was, how he was able to just express himself, how he was talking about Kaguya like he was in terms of the story with the moon, the Princess Kaguya, it, it, it was definitely inspiring, and it just, you could see a lot of romantic moments building up between the two characters from that, and just Kaguya literally was getting just so overwhelmed by embarrassment and emotion that she legit just broke down and had to act in a very cutesy manner, which she normally would not do, so it's very apparent, you know, Shinomiya actually won, he won that entire engagement between the two, but he didn't even try. So it's very clear if he actually just continued to be himself and love stars, etc., just expressed it like he did constantly, Kaguya probably would eventually just straight up confess and lose because she wasn't able to hold back the embarrassment like, you know, she normally could. And even the previous episode, we saw her break down in embarrassment, but she gave the man the cake. So we know for a fact that when it comes to romantic progression, it's very apparent that Kaguya is kind of losing the war. She is actually slowly admitting she has feelings towards him, and he's getting her to admit that. So that's the interesting part about this episode. But 
Overall, it's just, it's very cutesy, it's adorable, and I just, I love how it kind of took a spin on the normal formula, and, you know, like I said, you know, Sh uh, Shinomiya, he didn't even try, he didn't even try to win, he just was expressing his joy, and the entire story of Princess Kaguya and how it related to Kaguya with her situation with her family, to just how, you know, he said he would wait for her for as long as she wants, you know, he will always wait, you know, I, I felt like it was just very beautiful, I felt like it was just a very beautiful first half of the episode to really gear you up for what the second half really had to offer, which gets in to the next segment. Perfect segue. So, the second half of the episode is where the episode takes another spin, and it goes into a darker tone, because the first half got you prepped for happy moments, and then the second half just drags you down. It grabs your legs and literally just drags you down into the darkness. So... We all know, in real life right now, we all know that time is ticking on by. It never stops. It is always moving forward, and one day, things will be different. For instance, it might not be different right now, and it might not be different in your life for a very long time, but one day, as time continues to tick forward, things will change. Things that you cannot fight back against. Time is something that nobody can fight against. There's been many people, many philosophers, many people throughout history of humankind that have tried to fight back against time itself, but it's always won. Time is something that can never be defeated. And in this case, that's kind of what this episode was trying to express, is that the inevitable. For instance, time ticking on by, and as each day passes on by, eventually things will change and maybe the people they know will disappear in their lives and they'll never see them again. And seeing Kaguya, Fujiwara, Ishigami, and even, you know, Shinomiya actually just interacting within the second half of the episode and pretty much acting like they're about to go their own separate ways in life was incredibly sad. And it's something I think many are going to be able to hold on to and just relate with because this is stuff I know many at least one point in their life is going to experience if they have not experienced it once. And I know it's sad to say that, but it's true. It happens. You, you have it to where sometimes people take different points or paths in their life and you never see that other person again. And it's sad, but it does happen. And I feel like this episode really tackles that emotion really good. Like, it really got that emotion properly to where it's just like, it didn't try to shove it into your face, but it nailed the emotions of how you would feel if you had to split apart from people that you've just spent so much time with and enjoyed yourself in the time you spent with them so much, you know, just separating from them really does hurt. And Fujiwara's entire sad expression, how she got really sad, started crying, and then you see, you know, Kaguya is like, that's not fair, and she starts to get really upset too. It, it's just a really emotional moment because it's just like these characters one day they're probably not going to interact as much anymore it's probably going to happen like i know this is an anime it's a series like a just a fun story and if the writer wants they'll never split up as friends but real life not always do these people stick together they don't and that's the sad reality of it and i just i feel like i don't know i, I feel like it captured it so well and also kaguya trying to fight back against time itself struggling to fight back against the ever-changing tide of time and like could you please try to go for student council again could you please you know try to be at one last time before we have to move on from this school and seeing how he already had it planned to kind of already be the student council president again made me very happy and like i said it turned the sad episode into a little bit more of an uplifting and happy one it still does go back to the big question or the big thing that was already discussed in this episode and that, that is, they've tried to delay the inevitable, and they've delayed it for a little bit, but one day this topic will come back up again, and the question is, what will happen? For instance, will Kaguya and Shinomiya, will they make progress? Will they make romantic progress? Will Fujiwara and Ishigami, will they be able to do something and be able to interact with them too when they carry on with their life as well? So there's just a lot of questions that pop up, and I just think this episode is just a great episode. And it left me in a good mood, though, because like I said, it's very inspiring to never to give up and sometimes to try to be selfish as well, to fight for what you want, and don't give up so easily. I, I just, I think this is a beautiful message, it's a beautiful episode, and I couldn't ask really for more, honestly. So, um, anyways, with all that out of the way, Kaguya-sama, Love is War is just... Uh, I wish I already had the other episode. I wish I could watch the next episode because that's just how much I really enjoy and love this series. So it sucks that we have to wait an entire week, but you know what? The wait is worth it as long as if it doesn't get delayed. Now, if it does, 
It does. We know how the world is right now, and if things get delayed, it gets delayed. But, you know, I just, I really hope it doesn't. I really would be sad if Kaguya's Sama Love is War actually got delayed for this anime season. But anything can happen. But let's just be happy that we've at least gotten these episodes so far. But with that, I want you guys all out there that are currently watching this video to stay safe, be healthy, and stay at home as well. Please stay at home, be, you know, just. Please be safe out there because crazy world right now and I love you guys. Be safe, stay healthy. If you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below. And with that, Chibi out.